Hi there and welcome back to this channel. So in this part of our top down shooter tutorial, I'll show you how you can create your enemy and make him move towards the player. So the first thing we need to do is create the enemy, but before we do that, we'll drag our player to somewhere around the middle. Okay, so back to this point. Now you need to click on node 2D, click on the plus sign and let's search up kinematic body 2D. There we go. Now we'll rename this and call this zombie. Okay, now select the zombie node, click on the plus sign and let's search up collision shape 2D. There we go. Once again, select the zombie, click on the plus sign and search up um, sprites. Okay, so create and now we need to drag it in our zombie as a texture of the sprite node. So source, PNG and zombie and I'll use the zombie one stand. So drag this as a texture and we now have that. So let's set a collision shape for our zombie. So select the collision shape and in the inspector we set a shape. Our shape would be a rectangle. So we'll drag this out and position this properly. Okay, so there we go. We need to add a visual script to our zombie node. So select your zombie node, click on the script plus right here. And you need to set the language to visual script. By default, it should be set to GD script. Okay, so zombie.visualscript and create. So we now have our visual script right here. The first thing you do is create a variable to store the speed of the player. So create, so click on the plus, double click on the new variable and change this to speed. Okay, right click, edit member, and we'll set this to a float. The float will be set to 100, that would be the speed of the player. Next up, we need to add in a physics process. You can do that by clicking on this, which should overwrite an existing built-in function. So select that and search up physics process, open. Okay, so we now have the physics process. Next up, we'll multiply the value of our speed by this delta. But first, we need to export the variable. So to do that, back into your variables, edit member, and right here, you need to check exports. Okay, so we now have that exported. So you need to select zombie, and in the specter, you should see speed, which is now exported. So you need to select speed, hold down control on your keyboard, and drag it in. So we now have that here. Now we need to get a maths multiply. So to do that, right click and search up multiply. We have the maths multiply right here. So multiply this delta by the speed. I would make use of the results soon. Okay, so next up we need to get our player position, which is this. So you can select your player, drag it into the scene, and in here you can search get um, position. We have that, so open that, and you should have this. So get position, and we also need another one of these. So select the player, drag it into the scene once again, search in position, and get position. So we have this two right here. The difference between this and this is that for this up one, we'll be adding in a global right now, and then we'll subtract the results. So to do that, right click and search up global, and we we'll select the to global function, open and pass this to this. Now let's get a math subtract. So math subtract, we have that here, vector two. Okay, we need to change the type of this, select it and into the type, set it to any and then connect it. There we go. Once again, you need to connect this to this. Okay, so it would get the position of the player to global and subtract it from the position of the player. And once we have this as a result, we would multiply this together. So let's get a multiply here. Okay, so maths multiply and we'll connect this to this and then vector two to, okay, we need to change the type once again. So select this, change the type to any and connect this to this. So before we add in our move and collide, we need to add in normalize to ensure there's a constant speed once going diagonally. So select this, right click and We'll search up normalized and it's the vector to normalized. So drag this and we'll get the result. Link this to this and this to this. So that should unlink the multiply from the subtraction. Now next up, we need to get our move and collide. So select this and move and collide. There we go, move and collide. And the result of this, the result of this multiplication, we'll connect that. This would become the rel velocity and then you link the physics process directly to our move and collide. So we can preview this. 
Okay, so the zombie's not following the enemy. Um, I think something's wrong. Okay, we have our variable speed set to zero. So edit this and we we'll set this to 300 and close that. Okay, so it should work now. Preview. And we have that. It moves to the player, which is what we we'll want. So let's close this and make the zombie look at the player. To do that, we can add um, a new node. Let's go. Um, look at. We can use the look at. Connect this to this, and and we can get the position of the player. So select the player, drag into the scene, and position. So get the position, and then we connect this, and then we connect this to this. Um. Okay. So let's also change the speed. Edit member. I think a hundred would do. 100 close and save preview and there we go we have our enemy following our player which is nice we can add in more enemies to the scene enemy i'll go into a control duplicate drag and control duplicate drag okay so we have this three enemies i think i'll place them close to the player and preview So there you go, all three um, enemies follow the player, and as you can see, they're also following the player's rotation, so they're kind of like looking at the player, and there we go. Okay, so that's how to make the enemy follow the player in visual scripting. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe.